the void, but somehow different this time. Surprised I can pull you into this place? The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? I told you, when you were older, perhaps next year. You said that last year. Jessamine is younger than me, and she's a court every day. Jessamine is, well, it's complicated. You'll understand someday. What did I do? I'll be good, I swear. Next year, I promise. Jessamine and I played games in the tower, but at night I'd go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spymaster caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me your name? We were just playing. Young lady Jessie, what is your account? It was her. Delilah's lie. She broke it. I saw the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Your sentence is served and you'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. Hard to know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. When I was young, the loyalist conspiracy that kidnapped me also took Anton Sokolov. They brought him to the pub where I was being held and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? Sokolov laughed at them. He taught me lessons and told me funny stories. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I thought he'd tell me the secret to defeating Delilah and saving the Empire. I'm not even sure he knows where he is. dream, was it? Am, Am I, I to blame, blame for Delilah's, Delilah's bitterness? No. She's the one who orchestrated the coup. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. I, I feel my time drawing to an end. Soon.
For a man of his age, Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. Good to see you're still with us. Thank you for helping, Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, he'll undo my best efforts here. Then we'll have to make sure Duke Luca Abel doesn't overstay his welcome. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. I appreciate your thoughts on the matter, Alexandria. Jim the Lila Copperspoon, or is it Caldwin? It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever man. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Emily did for me, freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try, Megan. They kept me going after they gave me to Jindosh. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Anton, when I brought you back, you could barely speak. But it's been three days. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne, and my father is... missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other. But Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sirkonos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of? Or what she's up to. One of the more elaborate structures in Karnaka, closed to the public. More of the Duke's questionable rulership. take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There'll be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. 
Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. Say about it. Mm. <sighs> day, madam. It's the day you get to meet Pirate Betty in person. Time to pay the price if you want to live. Oh no, please! I have nothing. I'm just a poor maid. I see you've heard the stories about Pirate Betty, about all the terrible things I've done to the fools who refuse to give up some trinket or a bag of coins. Have mercy! Don't hurt me! Should I start by cutting off your nose? Help! Anyone help me! Or maybe I could sign my name across your forehead with a knife, use you as a human billboard. Help! Murderer! <sighs> all right, no one's coming. What a bunch of cowards. We'll try it again later. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. I'll think about it. See anything you like? Welcome back. Please, take your time. Need to wrap it for you, I suppose. <sighs> the blood flies are disgusting this year. <sighs> and what's next? It's enough to make a man crazy. Hmm. Hmm? Who opened this door? <laughs> What's going on here? Huh? Shit! What was I that? sounded like... Well, 
Welcome. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is... What a pleasant surprise to see you again. No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. Say something's amiss, and I just can't get comfortable. <clears throat> I just haven't finished with this shit. Ashworth has some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracular Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy. By my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible oh. that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. What a pleasant surprise to see you again. An excellent choice. Smells like piss. What a dump. Worst assignment ever. Nothing ever happens.
chest for that. On my man. I'm sure it's not the oh, someone just ran a dog yeah. or something like that. Of course now we're all on edge. Still got me one, but uh, then if I eat it, no, no way. No, if he eats it, then what? Something that feels wrong. What's the matter with you? The Royal Conservatory. What do those walls hide? This is the Duke. You must all know my voice right now. A new Empress, 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 Treasonous nation, sulky in the cold, gloomy north. If they want war, they want war, we'll give it to them. No matter how many of you I have to sacrifice, the Kratos will fight for Delilah to the bitter end. I'll check so, that area out. Let's see. What was it? This won't hey, go Goward! Unpunished. Come right face to face! Listen to Mama become a hairdresser. Huh? We'll get him. Huh? You can't stay hidden forever. <laughs> huh? What is it's going on? Karnaka, my Karnaka, brothers and sisters of my blood, and all the little people who make this great city trundle along. This is the Duke, but you must all know my voice by now. A new Empress sits on the throne in the wall. Our rightful ruler, Delilah Kong, took the reign. May she reign forever. There are some mighty ones who want to fight. Her claim and the throne, no matter what you do. Morally, Tibia, treasonous nations are skulking in the cold. Melinda, you look great. Enrico said to give you his regards. <sighs> I can't go on doing this, stealing for you. I'll lose my job. 
do you want to be a servant all your life? You're always talking about leaving Karnaka on a big white boat, never to come back. You spend your days polishing silver cutlery. Come with me, Beatrix. Let's leave. Could we really get passage on a ship? What if they find us? You know I'm protect you. Just like when you were killed. They don't want you here. Why are you hiding? I promise. nasty sometimes. It flows from the fountain to the conservatory. Wouldn't miss that. Push out into, into the harsh world. world. You are alone, but for a few allies.
The Royal Conservatory. What do those walls hide? Poor Lucinda. She wanted to raise the blood briar, but cannot. After trying to make cold. Advantageous marriage and years of childbearing. No, my dear, it's a loss. But I doubt he had anything more to give us. Sokolov was taken away as well. Who would want to? Jindash finished some time ago. The rest is up to me. I look forward to using it myself once you're ready. If I can sabotage Ashworth's communion device, she'll be powerless. There's no one else I trust. I'll reach out to you again on the morrow. Farewell. Goodbye, Delilah, my empress. Delilah's favorite. She can't know that. For all anyone knows, I'm the favorite. And why not? Why am I always the one who has to gather? We did grave. 
So this could be tampered with. Ashworth could be cut off from the void entirely. No more witchcraft. of the void. The Lila. It was everything I No. Leave me alone. You've ruined me. That's it. I'm done. Please. No. Sixteen years ago, it was just Brianna Ashworth and Delilah when they founded the covenant together. There's something she made from whale bones. More powerful than a simple charm. We went to Delilah after death and across all these years. As if you could ever hide your face from me, Emily. Little Black Sparrow, free from your cage at last. It's done. Brianna Ashworth is no longer a witch. You villain! You don't even know what you've done. A great bloom wilts and fades from the world. Delilah, I will take apart everything you've built until I have what's mine. Oh, Brianna. I don't believe we will speak again. The thought of seeing you reduced to such a pale, sad thing. It's too much to bear. I hate you for this, child. I'm not only going to restore things to the way they were, I'm going to make them better. Oh. Ashworth's journal might tell me more about why Delilah can't be killed.
What would you and father advise if you were both here? Sometimes I dream we're all together again. What would you and father advise if you were both here? Sometimes I dream we're all together again. As if you could ever hide.
melted the assassin down. Her magic was lost, and the coven scattered. I made a new life in Karnaka. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the Duke, who heard those same whispers. Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world, changing the Empire from the home of Aramis Stilton three years ago. Across the Isles, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined. New faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal. Forever. She holds down one. This shirt reeks. I've got to get a spare uniform. Hmm. I think something moved. So let's see, what was it? to Dunwall. I feel so bad. Haven't seen the kids in two years. Wait till he puts on those boots. I don't like I'll that. I'll search with you. Better have, have a look. A look.
Welcome. Welcome back. I see you found the prototype. Your acquaintance didn't make it. It is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not dwell. I expect you'll be interested in payment. First your finder's fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype, something you can use to modify your tools. And as a token of my appreciation, a discount at the shop. A fair deal. Come in, my friend. Always a delight to see you. Let's see. I have some upgrade plans for your gear. No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. All those valuable artworks locked up in the conservatory were no one. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. All right, Megan. Thank you for opening up. If only a little. I'm starting to feel like you deserve it. Are you ready to leave now? Yes. Let's go. Take me back to the Dreadful Whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos and Delilah. <laughs>